Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose. It is mail day today. I have a few packages from wonderful viewers such as yourself. So join me as we see what treasures have come from around the globe to Paper and Moose's mailbox and what wonderful items that you all have sent. So thank you all for joining me here on another mail day. What is going on with the channel? Well, I feel like we're kind of in a lull. Uh, we are waiting for the auctions to pop up once spring springs, then more auctions. Uh, pretty much hopefully we'll have an auction every weekend, fingers crossed. Uh, the flea market season, once we get out of the 20s in the morning, that should ramp up. My normal flea market, the Tote Man flea market, is going to be opening up uh, in a few weeks, so I'm excited for that. I hope the Tote Man is ready. <laughs> I hope he has been hoarding and saving up all of his treasures over the winter. And uh, what else? Let's see. We are patiently, not so patiently, waiting to hear about a possible clean out. Perhaps if I put it out there, it will come true. This has been going on for over a month now. We've been told uh, that there might be a clean out. We know how those things go. So hopefully that might turns into a definite and we get working on that as soon as possible because I've heard that it could be one of the best clean outs ever. We shall see. I would love that. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, personally, I have been feeling a little bit under the weather. Not sure if it's allergy season, but if it would be for allergies, then that means that this allergy season is going to be rough uh, because I've been feeling kind of eh. And uh, I, I, I didn't have allergies in my younger years. And then I think as you get older, pretty much everyone gets allergies. So yes, I know honey, local honey. I already have a jar of that, so I'm going to be just putting a lot of that in my tea. But enough about me. Let's get to the mail and see what treasures await us. So first, this comes from our friend Jennifer out in Missouri. Let's see what Jennifer writes. Dear Renee, I watch your videos every chance I get. Lately, I've had a little trouble getting time uh, between moving and getting a divorce. Uh, but I wanted to send you this Elf and Moose. P.S. Here's a very good cookie recipe. Mm, really good chocolate chip cookies. It's called the Ultimate Chocolate Chip Cookie. Well, thank you, Jennifer. I hope that things um, are a bit uh, less hectic in your life. Hopefully you have found time just to sit down, relax, and do the things that you enjoy doing and hope that all is well. So let's see what you have sent. Some newspaper. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. So he is like a newer, he's from Hobby Lobby, but he has the classic elf, pixie elf, knee hugger elf face. And look at his lovely little sweater. He is all dolled up and he's ready for Christmas. Is it right around the corner? No, but you know, in a few months. <laughs> Stay up there, little guy. Alrighty, and then we have the good old, let's get him out of his little baggie here. The Beanie Baby, I believe his name is Chocolate Moose. A classic. How crazy at that one auction where I bought all of the china that the totes of Beanie Babies were going for hundreds of dollars. I, I don't know, maybe, you know, they're gonna be back on the rise. Maybe they're gonna be popular again. I don't wanna tell you to go and start buying all the Beanie Babies you can get, but you never know. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you for watching. And again, I hope all is well with you. And I hope that you find time just to enjoy what you love to do. So thanks again. Next, this guy came from across the pond in three envelopes. <laughs> it says, I use three envelopes to make it a little more sturdy for the journey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is it? Ooh, look at her. She is fancy. So this is from our friend Gerard. Um, and he has written before. Lovely handwriting, <laughs> and he's writing quite a lot. Oh gosh, 
Let's see. Dear Renee, congratulations on the continued growth um, of and success of your channel. It seems there's no doubt that your wish to reach 60,000 subscribers will be achieved by Christmas. So yes, this is a little bit late in opening and yes, Gerard has predicted the future. <laughs> I have reached the 60,000. I think I did reach it before Christmas. And now I think I'm at 64 or is it 63? I forget. So will I get to the 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year? That would be amazing. But honestly, I think even reaching that 70,000 subscriber mark would be unbelievable as well. Like that's, that's a lot, that's a lot. So I want to thank all of you that have been here from the beginning, that have hopped along in the first few months, that could have just joined. Um, whenever you've joined, subscribed, it, it does mean so much and it has allowed me to do this. So thank you. Um, it has been fascinating to follow your recent development of uh, the house clearance pick um, and the abandoned storage units cleanouts have allowed more people to discover your content. Yes, um, the storage units are are great videos because a lot of people are interested in storage units. They wanna know how it works. They're drawn in because of the show. And so you get a whole mixture of people uh, that watch that content and some enjoy them, enjoy the videos and they stick around. Others just leave a nasty comment. <laughs> <laughs> and then they never watch again, which hey, you know, you, you can't please them all, as Ricky Nelson says. Uh, can't please everyone, so you got to please yourself. But I, I do enjoy the storage unit videos because I like to show, I guess you could say, the reality of the units. It's not all glitz and glam. You do not find, at least I don't find a locked, uh, let's see, a locked safe in every unit. I don't find uh, paraphernalia. <laughs> um, I don't find, you know, a treasure chest. Uh, all, all sorts of things, you know, that people kind of think that you're supposed to find in the storage unit based off of the TV show. So sometimes I find great things and sometimes I buy a unit that is from floor to ceiling shoved with suitcases that have clothing in them. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, and it's obvious that reviews appreciate and fully understand the genuine excitement you display in finding treasures from the past because of their intrinsic value and not just monetary value. Yes, Gerard provided me with a lot of great talking points here. Um, and that's the thing, I do have some people that comment that they don't like that I don't, uh, you know, circle back around and tell you how much I made on something. And the fact of it is, I could have something for a few months before I sell it. I could sell it at the flea market and I don't remember. I could keep it. <laughs> but my channel was never really uh, focused on the, I bought you know this for X amount of money and I ended up selling it for X amount of money. The resale aspect varies far and wide. It all depends on what platforms are you selling on? What kind of audience do you have? Do you have people that once you get a certain object, they will buy directly from you? So therefore you make maybe a little bit of more, a little bit more money because you have that relationship with them. That happens all the time at the flea market. There are people that, you know, if you have someone that buys vintage denim, they're going to want to get that vintage denim from you first. So they could be willing to pay a little bit more money. Uh, there's also the aspect of how do you source? Where do you source? Where do you live? Do you find things for cheaper? I might be able to find a plethora of items where I live and um, they're cheaper. So I'm able to sell them for a bit, little bit more. And in other instances, I might not be able to find something that someone else can sell all the time. Take for instance, uh, the depression glass. That stuff is everywhere in this area. It's everywhere. You go to an auction, it's there. You go to you know, a, a flea market, an antique show, antique booth, it's there. And so that market is saturated here, so I'm not gonna get a lot of money for it. Whereas someone out in another state, they might not be able to find it so they can sell it uh, for a higher price. So that's why I don't really touch on, I bought it for this and I sold it for that. There are plenty of other reselling channels that do that and they're great at that and they can definitely teach you more about that aspect. I cannot teach you about selling Nike shoes, sorry. <laughs> um, everyone can see the joy you feel 
when you receive some unexpected treasures in the past, through the past, which the center knows is in your field of interest. You have attracted a community of supporters who understand your passion for what you do and are delighted to see you continue to follow your dream. Well, thank you. I wish you continued success um, in the house clearance pick. I'm trying to think which one that was. That may have been the one where I got the dentist office little couch, maybe? Or maybe it was the home uh, that I worked out with Tony where, oh, that may have been it, where we like bought the contents of the house and picked what we wanted. That might have been it. Um, let's see. I know that many exciting finds await you in your future. Best wishes, Gerard. And Gerard so kindly sent a little, um, let's say a little monetary gift, which there are some storage auctions coming up. Uh, there is an estate sale coming up in a few weeks that I am really excited about. So that will go to there to buy future treasures and hopefully some ephemera and other things. And then Gerard wrote this really nice other letter, which I will read, um, let's see, off camera. Um, he usually has some very, very nice items to, uh, nice items, nice things to say. Let's see. How about we, we'll just read this little paragraph. Um, it is a delight to observe the respect you show for the people in the photographs you find and for the thoughts of others. Uh, witnessed through their writings, captured on postcards, letters, diaries, or journals. The joy you feel when you find is some well-loved soft toy. Yes, I can't help it. <laughs> uh, some lunch chairs, Christmas decoration, Christmas uh, figures, uh, assorted printed media or Halloween decor is very evident. And that's true. I like the stuff. I can't help it. I've always liked it. I bought my first antique photograph when I was a teenager. And since then, I've just loved it. It's, I've always loved history. And I think that, you know, paper is probably one of the, the items that really brings history to the front because there's so much to research and learn from it. Well, thank you, Gerard. I will read uh, the rest of your letter off camera. And thank you as always for the kind words. Thank you for the little gift. Uh, you know that that is not necessary at all, but I do appreciate your kind words and your um, support of the channel and what I'm doing. So thank you so much. I hope that this upcoming year, because we're only in March, <laughs> is, is well for you. And that perhaps if you are out and about searching for your treasure, I hope that you find it. I always say that. I think that's like my little tagline at the end, uh, but it is true. I know many of us are searching for perhaps that item to complete our decor, that item that a family member or a best friend has been searching for for years to complete their collection. So I think it's always great when you are out and about and you just run into it and it kind of finds you. So thank you so much, Gerard. The next two packages that we have are from our friend Jackie down in Florida. Jackie had quite the year last year uh, between the weather that Florida had, uh, the, the one trial that was on television because she lived uh, not too far from that whole thing. Uh, so Jackie, Jackie's had, had quite the year last year. So hopefully this upcoming year, <laughs> this year is a little bit better, perhaps less uh, weather conditions, less elements. Uh, but if you know Jackie, you know that she is always a consistent commenter on the channel. She has sent some amazing things to Taco Stacks. She has sent me some amazing things, including that cute little grubby from Teddy Ruxpin, a whole bunch of different Alice stuff. And uh, she is just a, a part of this uh, YouTube community that it's always nice to see her, see her comments, whether it's just a little emoji or a memory that is sparked by some of the things that Taco Stacks and I find. So Jackie has sent two packages. Um, I guess we'll open this one first since this one arrived first. Let's see what she has sent. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to show this first. <laughs> what in the world? How did you find this? So this is a football Mickey. <laughs> he is so cute. He's got to be vintage because he feels very sturdy. I haven't seen one like him, but he has a Susie State liner. Oh, I can probably wear this. 
Oh my gosh, I can't. It's a piece of fabric. Oh, I can wear, oh, this is great. I can wear it as a head wrap. Oh my gosh. I love this. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oh, Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. He is so cute. <laughs> I haven't seen like one with his shape before. How fun. All right, Mickey, I don't know if you're going to be in the camera. You have to go over there. Let's see. Let's see what Jackie has sent. Cute card. Oh, my goodness, Jackie. And look, look at this. <gasps> it pops up. It's Rudolph. That's adorable. Let's see. Renee, Merry Christmas. <clears throat> Hope the eggs make it in one piece. They were made with real eggs. Oh yes, an older woman made them years ago. Also had each egg blessed. Peace, Jackie. Well, thank you, Jackie. Jackie also sent a little um, monetary gift. So thank you so much. I don't know if you'll see it. There is one fly that had, he made his way into my place yesterday and he's just zooming around. So he wants to be a part of mail day as well. <laughs> so if you see him, that's the fly. If it's Gerald the fly, I guess we'll call him that. We'll put that there. So let's look at these eggs first. <sighs> we, all, we all know about eggs today and how much they, they are. What are your prices of a dozen eggs where you're at? Oh, they did. Oh my gosh. These are not what I was expecting, but these are wonderful. I was thinking it was like the blown whole egg, but these are actually even better because I have not seen this kind before. All right, this is amazing. Look how cute. These would be great for even Easter. We have Jesus. Oh no. Yes. No. Mary and Joseph. These are so neat. Look at this one. This is so cute. So it's the half of the egg. This one has a little tree inside. Then it's like a velvet lining with, I think a pipe cleaner around and these delicate beads. These are adorable. I've not seen anything like this before. Oh, look. We have baby Jesus and an egg. <laughs> these are so cute. And the time it took to make these, oh my gosh. There's another baby Jesus and an egg. And we even have the little music makers. Look how cute that is with the different colors. Wow, Jackie. These are so cute. I have, I have not come across anything like this in my travels before. The time it took to make these, to put the fabric on, I mean, this is a work of art. I think this one might be my favorite. <laughs> and there's one more thing in this package. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, we have another, here's, oh wow. I really hope this shows up. So we have, oh yeah, look at that. So there's Jesus and then it has sequins and then again, the, you know, velour or velvet lining. Wow. There's Mary and baby Jesus. These are so cute. And then this one is a little bit fuller. It has, I call it the mica snow inside. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. You know what would be really funny is if now this flea market season, I find more of these. Cause these are probably like akin to bottle brush trees. Can you have enough? I've, I've, I haven't seen anything like this before. They are so cute. The baby Jesus ones are really cute. Those are adorable, Jackie. Now Jackie has sent one more package. So we have Mickey, Phil Phillipsburg, Susie's Dateliner, and the most precious eggs, homemade eggs I've ever seen in my life. 
Can you see that? Let's read the card first. <laughs> I don't want to look and see what it is. Oh, now she has, oh, she has Easter, an Easter card. These are so cute. There is no maker on here. Jackie, if you made these yourself, you should go into the card business. That is so cute. This would be great. You could set it up and then have um, the older peeps or like the little ceramic eggs around to like keep it flat. That's so cute. And then Jackie wrote, Happy Easter. Peace, Jackie. With again, a little gift. So thank you, Jackie. Completely unnecessary. Oh my gosh. So I, I want to say I think I, I know what's in here, but I don't want to. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where did you find this? That is so cute. It's a pillowcase. I'm Tiny Roxpin. Oh my god. Whoever made this is a genius. So it looks like they did. I wonder. It looks like they did take the actual label from a Teddy Ruxpin doll and put it on here. And probably his nose too. But like they had to make this. There's a label. This was actually made by a company. It's not homemade. Yes, it was. 1985 Alchemy. So that was the Teddy Ruxpin company. I can't believe this. Oh my gosh. Growing up, I had, and I still have, a Teddy Ruxpin sheet set. And the pillowcase had, like, his head... St that was a big fad back in, back in the 80s and early 90s, I think. The pillowcase would have an extra piece on top that was, like, the head. So I also had the popple set. And so the head, you know, was the popple. And there was a space where their nose was that had a little um, music player. So you would push it and it would do the theme song um, from that cartoon. And that's what the Teddy Ruxpin was. It would do the Come Dream With Me Tonight. Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. <laughs> Let's build a giant airship. <laughs> See, even at an early age, I was looking for treasure. <laughs> Jackie, this is amazing. I can't, I, I don't even know this was a, the scent that they had. I love it. Oh my gosh. Well, you've outdone yourself again, Jackie. The eggs, Tidy Ruxpin, Mickey Peberg, <clears throat> and the little gifts that you sent. Thank you so much. I really do hope that this year um, is, is more successful, <laughs> less stressful uh, than this past year for you. And uh, I hope that the weather treats you a little bit better so that you are able to enjoy uh, your time down in Florida and not have to worry about uh, hurricanes and all that stuff. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, you are, it's always nice, as I said, to see your comments and to hear your stories and see what treasures that you have so nicely shared uh, with Taco Stacks and myself. So thank you. Oh, man. Maybe this like flea market year will be like the year of the Teddy Ruxpin. Cause there's a lot of Teddy, Teddy Ruxpin stuff out there that I didn't have. Um, there are some of the animals that are, their value is insane. Some of the stuffed animals. And that elusive cord that connects Teddy Ruxpin and Grubby. My aunt has that cord. <laughs> if it ever disappears from her house, don't look for it here. <laughs> Uh, no, but oh, wow. well, thank you to everyone. Uh, again, such wonderful treasures that you all have shared and you also just share your time when you watch the videos, when you comment on them and you all make the channel uh, what it is. And I, I can't thank you enough. So here's to more treasures. Here's to getting out there and seeing what 
is, is brought to the surface for us to find, to see, to research, and to bring back some memories uh, from our childhood or from our, our earlier years in life to give us a little smile. So thank you so much again. Probably said that how many times. Just should, maybe we should do a contest like how many times I say thank you in these videos <laughs> because I do say thank you a lot. But yes, uh, Jackie, Gerard, and Jennifer, thank you again. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed this mail day. I certainly did all these surprises and stay tuned for more adventures here at Paper and Moose. Let's all have positive thoughts about that clean out. Let's hope that it, it happens because again, supposedly it would be the best clean out we've ever done. So we'll have to see. I'm sure it was probably better than that hot dog house. <laughs> I can still smell that smell. Ugh. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time for whatever adventure uh, is next. And if you are out and about looking for your treasure, I hope that you find it. Mm -hmm.